Hey everyone, and welcome back to Just Meeple and Me, a solo board gaming YouTube channel. This is Jeremy Miller, and I'm having a great day. Got home from work today to see not one, but two package deliveries on my front porch. And these are two games that I've been expecting and excited for for over a year now, since their Kickstarter campaigns ended last year. On the right, you can obviously... Villagers! And in the box to the left, that's not labeled, I believe that is Endogenesis that I am excited about. So I'm actually going to be producing two unboxing videos today and go over the components and the contents of each of these games. And then I'm going to get busy tonight and play them and see, see what these are all about. I am very excited. So we're going to go ahead and start with the villagers. That one out of the way. This is the Wood Carver Pledge there it's a nice small compact game so I'm gonna go ahead and get this opened up here we go straight from the package villagers I love the art style of this game a lot of unique characters and artwork this is a card drafting and tableau building game for one to five players art on all sides of the box there so from the back villagers is a beautiful game of card drafting and village building as a village founder you invite people from all walks of life to live and work in your expanding community if you can recruit the right people to form lucrative production change by balancing your food production and building capacity your village will become the most prosperous and you'll win the game and single play in single player mode a lone village must prosper against the Machine and machine nations of the powerful and ill-tempered countess. You guys will learn that sometimes my pronouncing of words not my strong suit. All right, let's get this plastic off. See what's in here. Nice and careful here. Don't want to damage the box. Okay, hey, here is the box. Nice texture to it. You can kind of see, looks like maybe even a faded windmill design in there. Lots of little people building it. So just well, very well detailed. And when we open it, there is art on the inside of the box itself and the cover. Now that was a stretch goal that was added. Really, again, sense the tone and the theme of the game. So we can take this back out first, and that brings us right to the rule book. Comes in at 27 half pages there. Gives you the game setup and overview. You can see you'll be having a road, which I believe kind of serves as the market for these cards. For this game. The anatomy of all the card types there. And everything that you would need to get the game going. And solo mode instruction. That's what we're going to be all about. This is what I'm going to be reading here right after these videos are done today. So I can see what I need to do to play against the Countess. Okay. We got things to punch. We got the coins here. To punch. Now I believe my pledge, the Woodcarver's pledge, had the upgraded components in here. which are actual coins, so instead of punching them all, we'll have actual updated material coins. We're going to open that up and see. It's been a while since I ordered this game. I'm not exactly sure what my add-ons or my pledge had. Okay, so you can see that forms a nice little 
wooden coin chest. We pop it open and there they are. So that will replace the punched out versions. So I will probably just keep these unpunched in a nice storage case I need them. We have a bag. Bag of coins. And that's what will form the economy the currency in this game. Yeah, these are yeah, these are nice wooden coins. Nice and thick. Definitely going to feel better than the cardboard. So, yeah. We got 5, 10, 50, 2, and 100. So, multiple denominations in there. Should be easy to tell all these coins apart. They're all different sizes. 100 is obviously the biggest, 50, the 10, the 5, and the off-colored bronze is the 2, almost like the American penny. So, we got that. We'll cut those right back in there. We'll put all that back in just a second. We got some additional storage bags, probably to sort, we can probably sort the coins by that. This is the Kickstarter expansion pack. So this will be an exclusive to the Kickstarter version. So what is in here are some stretch goals that were added to make an exclusive pack. Okay, we have, let's see if we can get that to focus. There it is, kind of. We have the scoundrels, nine scoundrels, five saints, eight profiteers, four wooden tokens, and 12 development cards. So there's four separate expansions in this Kickstarter promo. We'll open them all up in a second. We have these nice thicker cut cardboard player guides. Gives you the kind of the phases there. There's five of them. If we were ever going to play multiple players, you got one for each. You got your road setup instructions and marker. You got the Countess. This is who we're going to be playing against. This will be our nemesis. And everything that she'll start with. And then kind of some other guidelines. And those are so nice and thick. And the artwork there is very nice. Okay. Last, we have all the cards. Let's so open up one pack of these and then open up the Kickstarter exclusives. That's a general idea of what is included in villagers. And I'm sorry guys, you know I've realized maybe a couple times here I haven't got things centered on the screen or my hands have held cards maybe out of view. This is my first time making videos and I am working on how to do it properly. So these early videos may be a little rough, probably are a little rough, and if you're still watching, I do thank you. But hopefully I'll get the hang of it. Okay, so here we go. Cards here, so special card, smuggler, monk, two monks, a couple apprentices, grocery, These are ore cards, so I think these would all be related. They would form a chain somehow, based on how we play the game. So fun, fun art on each card. Every card unique. And these are all people and craftsmen and workers that you would want in a prosperous 
village to satisfy all the needs of all your population. Founders, you know, that someone's gotta found the village. Market cards, one to use for scoring. To the exclusives here and see what is in here. So yes, we got these nice wooden markers here. Oh, yeah, those are nice and thick. Looks good. Got a rooster, windmill. Looks like an inn or house. And some sort of tent. Somebody is selling a merchant tent, maybe. Now the second set of expansion rules here that lets you know how to add in and play the Scoundrels expansion, the Saints expansion, the Profiteers expansion, and the developments expansion so different modules in this game and now you can play these with or without so you can add different complexities or not to the game again we have instruction cards these are thicker cardboard cut compared to the cards themselves so you have to remember the same size as the cards these stand out because of their material thickness gives you a little overview of what's included in each of those And then all the cards would be in here. So, okay guys, lots of content in this game. As I said, I'm probably going to leave these not punched. I'm just going to store those in there. And I will unbag the tokens from this chest here. And use that for my coins. All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for wa watching another episode of Just Meeple and Me. I will move my unofficial package opener there. Probably should get something a little safer than that. But yeah, so this has been another episode of Just Meeple and Me. I will be opening my next game, Endogenesis, in just a few minutes and producing a video for that. And I hope that this video showed you what Villagers is all about. I'm excited to see what each card does and to get playing and hopefully... In the next week or so, I'll have some gameplay video showing you exactly how solo mode versus accountants plays out. Have a good day, and thanks again for watching.